Hey YouTube, Michelle here with another video. This I did a silver and black light clubbish look. Um, this was a suggestion by I'm sorry if I did this wrong. I'll put it in the little box. MSI Stanley32. Um, she wanted to see a silver and black look, and I thought, why not do it in phases? Um, you know, certain people can't have really dark, smoky eyes um, based on the shape or how small or big their eyes are. Um, so I did it to where um, everyone can have a silver and black look. Um, so yeah, it goes from like fairly simple to complicated to somewhat complicated. If you just keep watching, you'll understand what I'm saying. So in the meantime, I hope you guys dig this video and uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys around. I am using a shadow pencil by NYX. This one is called Pots and Pans. It's just a silver um, shadow pencil. And we're going to be applying that all over the lid up to the crease. And then um, you're going to take a silver. And I am using charcoal by NYX. I'm applying that all over the lid where we had our base. Okay. And see, like, it just goes on really easily because we got that shadow pencil on. Okay, so the next step, this is part of phase one. Uh, I'm using a, I'm taking an angled brush, uh, this one is the 266, it's a little thicker than the other one, which I forgot what number it is, it's kind of like worn off. Um, I'm taking this and we're going to take a black eyeshadow. So I'm using this black one from the 88 color palette from Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to dab that in there and I'm just going to like dab a piece of tissue just so I can take the excess off. And where, just a little bit above my crease, about here, I'm gonna draw a line. So like halfway into her eye, I'm gonna draw a line out. Like so. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna make this one a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna go in a little bit more. And I'm going to go like this. And then I'm taking a blending brush, like so. And I'm just going to blend that. I'm not blending down. I'm going to the blah, 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 blah. Wish I could talk. I am doing the windshield wiper motion, but make sure you don't blend down. If anything, blend a little bit upward. Because um, you don't want all that black to go into all the silver and then you're going to have to like keep reapplying the silver and the black and it's just too much of a hassle so so do your circles go from side to side and just blend that just smooth it out so it's not so harsh of a line okay so you can just keep blending it a little bit more but I'm not going to so you're going to do it because I have more to do, but this is part of phase one. If you don't want to have like the super like black and the silver like this, you want it simple, but you still want this like the smokiness, um, then definitely do that because you have the black in the crease. And uh, if you want it, you could just add a little bit into the outer corner of your eye, the outer V, and then blend it up. But if you want it simple, if you don't want to go all crazy, then you can just keep it at this, put a highlight liner, mascara, and you're good to go. So, but now we're going to go on to phase two. And with phase two, we're going to take that same brush, the angled brush that we're using, and taking the same black that we used for the crease, we're going to kind of do the same thing, but we're going to um, start on our outer V. So we're going to draw a line for our outer V is straight out, right, like that, 
and then we're gonna like using the brush we're gonna stroke it that black line inward like so just to blend that in with your blending brush you're gonna blend that make sure everything looks nice and if you wanted you could add more black into the crease and do the same thing that we did earlier like that and you can leave it like this I prefer with a clean cut edge so I'm just using a q-tip and I'm just going to clean that and make it a straight and that's phase two just a very simple simple black um, smoky cat eye look eyeliner mascara highlight as well and yeah that's phase two so now we're going to take a silver eyeliner I'm using NYX of course this is just silver and we're going to line our waterline and the silver now this part's a little tricky this you're going to need like a steady hand to do this um, if you don't have a steady hand, then um, you're going to have to figure it out. So what you had to have cleaned um, up this edge and make sure it was nice and straight, like so. And I'm just going to take the pencil and I'm going to draw a line right next to that black. And don't worry about how far you go, of course you're going to be cleaning that up again. But make sure you're right next to that line. So you don't see any like skin. And connect that back to the water line. Like so. And then I'm taking a pencil, black liner. This is Prestige. And I'm going to carefully line my lower lash line. But I'm not going all the way up here. I'm just going like halfway through. Right to the end. Into the middle. And you can go as far as you want. I'm just going to where my lashes stop. And then with that, um, I'm taking a angle brush again or you can use a chisel detail brush and um, this is a smaller map one and that black shadow I'm just going to go over that um, pencil so the shadow like holds like stays because of that pencil and just smudge it a little bit so it blends out so it's not like so like harsh of a black line okay with another key tip I'm just going to clean up that edge just a little bit of where I had the silver, but you still want the silver to show. And with um, the same um, brush we're using, I'm going to take that black matte shadow and with your steady hand again, you're going to extend that line where you have the black up and it needs to be ex like parallel to the black. Um, cut crease right there. So start from where the black shadow ends on your lower lash line and just drag it up and make sure it's parallel. And if you have problems with it, don't worry, it's just makeup, it's not permanent, you can always fix it. And I'm just going to try to thin it out a little bit. Like so. And if it's a little too thick, just take another Q-tip. And just clean it up and make sure it's all nice and thin.
see you looking over your shoulder. Let me make my way over. Excuse me, this lady, how you doing? You better look right, get it tight.